Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yes, sir. Tell us a little bit about your up- upbringing. Well, well, you know by my name. Mm-hmm. I was a bad child, you know. I got that name. I was a child that. Like, how old were you when you got that name? Uh, 10 years old when I got shot. You got shot? Yeah. In oh, okay. The, in the head. They said it was like an inch close, I would have been dead. By who? Believe it or not, it was my cousin, Nick Doe. Playing wow. with a gun? Huh? Playing with a gun? Uh-uh. Meant to see, shoot see, you? You see how tall I am? Mean, I'm like 6'3", so when I was 10, I was like 5'10", but I was bad. Y'all remember, what was that name of that movie when that boy was stealing them um, CD players and he jumped over the fence? Uh, J-Rock on South Central. I was J-Rock. Yeah. <laughs> at 10 years old. At 10 years old. I was stealing my cousin's CD player out of his car. And he, he thought I was a grown man, so when I started running, he shot me. When, as soon as I so hit the corner. So he didn't know it was you? Nah, he ain't know. So that's why wow. my mama didn't pray charge Because I shouldn't have been out there. And I ran in the house to my mama, crying like, Mama, I, I been shot. She ain't number 23. I mean, no, nah, she was 29 then. Uh-huh. And she, uh, she like, boy, you ain't been shot. And she looked, just seen the blood running from my face and my face. Yeah, you know how the women, how, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She went in. <laughs> yeah, hung up the phone. Yeah, but that's how I got the name, man. Like, old folk, where I'm from, one street of house, you know what I'm saying? It's a real hood. Yeah. So folk had little cuts coming through, going to the stores and stuff. My grandma was a bootlegger. Me and my partner, God bless the dead, he just got killed four years ago. We used to uh, hold rocks. And when they used to come through, they used to hit them in the head with rocks and run. Bow. Oh, yeah. Bow. Yeah, that's just country. Bad, just bad, country. man. Bored like and bad. Too. Bored and bad. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, the reason yeah. why you were so bad, was that because of the environment that you were in? Do you think so? I or would, it just was in you to it, be bad? It was just in me. You know, because I ain't want for nothing. I was just bad. You know what I'm saying? So, how, lo- how long did it take you to recover after you were shot um, in the head? Yeah. How long did it take you? Just just, I was give, just hospital, take us through the process of how, like, once your mama seen it, how did they slow the bleeding down? Was it any? Uh, uh, I ain't going to lie, man. It happened on Did no, you go conscious? No, yeah. I, I, was gone, I was out for, like, three days. Wow. And I woke up that Tuesday. They put you out? Because you went to your mama after you got shot, and you were like, mama just got shot. So it's not like yeah, you sell out right then it. and there. My grandmama house right here. My cousin mm-hmm. house, Nick, though, is my grandmama's brother's son. Wow. So what did he say when he found out that it was you? Crying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Crying, fussing. You know, it was a lot between my my family because I ain't never get a whipping. Wow. That's why I was so bad. Because my grandma, like, my mom used to try to whoop my grandma. Like, you hit my son, my grandbaby, you can put out this house. Wow. She, she wouldn't let nobody you. whoop. Were you an only child? Nah, it was me and my little sister. Oh, okay. But you were the only boy. Yeah, I was the only boy. That's why. <laughs> wow, and, and and so when you they how did how fat do I know you was you unconscious before you got to the hospital? Now nah, believe it or not, I remember being in the ambulance. Okay, but that's the last thing I remember, and I just remember my grandma was just over me, just crying. That's the only thing I remember. Probably lost so much blood. You know, yeah, but, man, but they, they, everything they said, everything on me from head to toe just soaked. Wow. Yeah. Boy, you, hey, boy, that's amazing that yeah, you still said, here. They said it was an inch close. I would have been dead. And you stayed in the hospital for how long? Do you remember? Nine days. Nine days you was in the hospital. When you got, yeah. when you came back to conscious, were you able to walk or? Yeah, believe it or not, bro. When I got back to conscious, that's what my mama said. It was an angel on me. When I got back to conscious, I walked straight out of the hospital. I was in basketball practice two days later. Ooh, <laughs> boy, you bad. <laughs> with, with, a bandage, with a bandage on my head. Wow. Yeah, Did you bad. get a whooping after you got out and you recovered? Because I would have just tore that tail Believe up. Believe it or not, they spoiled me more. I used to get suspended from school, and my mama didn't used to take me shopping to the mall. Believe it or not, Why do bro. you think they was so... Hold so, up, where was daddy in all of this? In prison. In prison. Wow. Yeah, was, what did he say? He write a letter home? Nah, but well, he got out and did the same thing. He got out and started cutting up? Yeah. He, so daddy, that's where you got it from. Daddy was daddy, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, by the time from, from 11 to 12... I lost my dad and all three of my older brothers to prison. One got 18 years, one got 22 years. The other one had got 14 and had just gave my dad 18, all federal. That's your daddy's side because yeah. your mama only had you and one and your sister. Yeah, she got more children now, though, but back then, yeah. So back he then. came home? Yeah. Well, how long ago did he come home? He came home, believe it or not, the day before I graduated. Could, how was it growing up without a father? It was, it, it, it was rough. But it wasn't because my mama got married and he, the man, he, he was so much like a father to me. You know what I'm saying? God bless dad. It seemed like it's like I had a father because he did everything that my daddy didn't. And this in Alabama? 
Yeah. But how what, old what, was what he whenever? Oh, go ahead. On, well, how old was he? How old were you when he came into your life? Twelve. A little too late. Yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I'm trying to figure. Right. I was trying to figure that out. That's so, my thing. So, <laughs> like, so where was he? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he didn't come till twelve. Yeah, I was twelve. Wow. But, but, but he saved me though. I, like I said, I graduated. And there, I knew he wanted that one. None of that would have happened. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.